This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump advisor cited Japanese internment for Muslim policy, what you're not being told. Anti-media, former Navy SEAL Carl Higby just learned what backlash means, even if what he's defending is something President Barack Obama has been doing throughout his presidency. During a conversation with Fox News' Megyn Kelly, the spokesman for the Great America PAC, a pro-president-elect Donald Trump organization, cited Democratic President Franklin D. Roosevelt's internment of Japanese Americans as a precedent for a possible registry of Muslim immigrants. Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach told Reuters that Trump's policy advisors discussed the ongoing George W. Bush Air National Registry of Immigrants from terror-prone countries where the majority of the population is Muslim. But while defending the idea on Fox News, Higby failed to discuss the registry in detail. Instead, the Great America PAC spokesperson argued that in spite of that criticism, the registry is constitutional. I know the ACLU is going to challenge it, Higby told Kelly, but I think it'll pass, and we've done it with Iran back, back a while ago. We did it during World War II with the Japanese. Kelly interrupted. Come on. You're not. You're not proposing we go back to the days of internment camps, I hope. Despite her pushback, Higby continued. Tee president needs to protect America first, and if that means having people that are not protected under our constitution have some sort of registry so we can understand, until we can identify the true threat and where it's coming from, I support it. Regardless of the public outrage his comments sparked, this particular registry has already been used in the past. In fact, an even more intrusive version of it is currently in use by President Obama. During the George W. Bush era, Kobach helped design a system while working for Bush's Department of Justice. The National Security Entry Exit Registration System NCERS, had two components, domestic registration and port of entry, which requires individuals to register upon entry to the country. The system targets non-citizens, and while religious-specific portions of NCERS were suspended in 2011, after being implemented following the 9-11 attacks, the program was essentially replaced by the United States Visitor and Immigrant Status Indicator Technology US Visit, in 2003. US Visit is a management system that collects and analyzes biometric data from immigrants. Once collected, the data is checked against a database of individuals deemed dangerous, which may include terrorists, criminals, and illegal immigrants. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.